read to you today the biography of a famous mathematician, Carl Gauss, who lived in 1777 until 1855. Her butler must have had grand porridge for breakfast today. Hans, he's awfully mean, whispered Carl. That's nothing new, his friend shrugged. Just then, their teacher slammed his book down on the front desk and shouted at the class of boys. Do I have to thrash you all every day to get you to be quiet and do your work? You boys are the most undisciplined rascals I have ever had to teach. But teach you, I will, he continued with fury in his voice. Yes, today you will learn a lesson. Drawing himself up proudly in front of the class, her butler had everyone's attention. No one dared to whisper or smile or even look at his classmates. When their teacher was angry, he was angry. This is the assignment. Listen carefully, her butler glowered. You must each add up all the numbers from 1 to 100. When you are finished, you must bring your slate here to my table. Then wait quietly in your desks until everyone is finished. Before her partner could turn around and sit down on his stool, Carl slipped out of his seat and carefully placed his slate face down on the teacher's desk. Young man, are you defying my authority? The teacher scowled. No, sir, answered Carl. I have finished my work. To her partner's amazement, there was only one number on the slate, 5050, and there was the correct answer. How could Carl have done it? For once, the teacher was shocked into silence. His face turned white and he couldn't say a word. After a few weeks, her partner bought young Carl a gift, the best textbook on arithmetic, and he confessed that there was nothing else he could teach Carl. He needed a private tutor. Gus's family was very poor and could not afford to pay for private tutoring classes, but Carl's talent slowly and surely spread throughout Germany. When Carl was 14, the Duke of Brunswick learned of his talents and smarts and decided to pay for his education at Caroline College. Carl Gauss contributed greatly to many complex mathematics problems. Some of these, such as discovering that a polygon can be drawn by only a ruler and a compass, had puzzled mathematicians for centuries. Gauss loved to work with numbers. He called mathematics the queen of the sciences and arithmetic the queen of mathematics. He was often called the prince of mathematics. Even today, scholars everywhere consider Gauss, along with Archimedes and Newton, as one of the three greatest mathematicians who ever lived. If you wish to learn more about uh, Carl Gauss and other famous mathematicians, these are the uh, great books that you can find biographies for young kids. And mathematics are people too. Here's volume one and volume two, and Carl Gauss appears on, on the first volume. They are a little, actually they are quite a bit longer, each biography, and this one is the shortened version for, for young kids. Thank you for watching and if you wish to learn more, please visit my website, raisingaselfreliantchild.com. Thank you.